Welcome to Morning Trophy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. Nathan, happy twelve. Fuck. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, what was that? And happy Twevin to you too, Caldwell. <laughs> it is a, it's a brand new day. Oh, it's, it's off to such a bad start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nathan, I got up on the wrong side of the bed and I fell into a dang ravine. <laughs> happy Twevin 12 to you, my friend. <laughs> Twevin 12, the best year on record has. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're starting it off strong starting off the episode strong uh starting off our day strong uh-huh we're <laughs> we're uh, back we're in it we're back baby we're back from vacation <laughs> nathan happy 2017 to you happy 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 12 and happy set 2017 uh, both. The, oh, thank heaven it's oh thank 12. heaven <laughs> happy happy 12 <laughs> Oh, Twevin's greetings. <laughs> Twevin can wait. Starring Qu- Twevin James. <laughs> Stairway to Twevin. <laughs> uh, Nathan, it's a new year. Mm-hmm. It's a new year, new you. Mm-hmm. 2016 was a wild time. I'd say so. But I think that we we did some thinking about it. We did some soul searching. Yeah, I, you know, we have a lot of fun on Drafi, but uh, w- we also like to think of ourselves as sort of social uh, diagnosticians. I would say so. Just trying to like figure out the ins and outs of what made 2016 uh, one of the most butt years on record. Yeah. And I think we figured it out. Yeah. I mean, you know, there, there are a lot of a lot of options, you know, is it was it the rise of fake news, sort of the loss of of truth? Was it um, outrage culture? Mm-hmm. Was it some sort of combination of factors? Uh, Well, I think we've tapped into something. Yeah, a deeper vein, a richer vein. We sort of circumvented all that noise. It was. It was. Wait for it. Not enough breakfast. Breakfast. Not enough people eating breakfast every day. Breakfast eating rates were at record lows in 2016. You gotta eat your breakfast. No one's talking about this. (laughs) We're breaking the story and we're breaking the fast. (laughs) Thank you, Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for bringing up the most important topic of 2017. You got to eat your breakfast every you day. Eat your I breakfast. want you, that's my resolution. Mm hmm. I want you to hold me to it. Nathan? Yeah. If I don't eat breakfast every day, mm-hmm. I want you to stab me in the gut. <laughs> well, I don't, I won't need to call it because uh, your brain body will do that. Exactly. Oh, thank you. You get yeah. that gut stab feeling right around <laughs> noon. It's like, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, you didn't eat breakfast today. (laughs) Have at thee. Have at thee. In the vein of that, in the vein of this new discovery and this new mantra for 2017, Mm -hmm. uh, I want to take a look at Dr. Wolfel's comment. This is an older YouTube comment we got that says, It would be fun to see you guys draw cereal boxes, front and backs, of made-up cereals. And I love that idea, and I'm going to get it started right now. That's a fun idea. Uh, I also, I like it because that actually is one of the things you made me do in order to get my job at College Humor. Yeah, I was remembering that. It's like a fun kind of retrospective because, yeah, when when I was looking for new illustrators for College Humor back when uh, I was the head illustrator there. 2012. 20, oh, no. 2012. Uh, in 2012, I put together like a little illustration test. And one of the things was design your own cereal box mm-hmm. based off of, I think it was based off of a TV or like based off of your favorite website. Is what your it was. favorite website. Yeah. And what did you draw? I drew who loops. And was in the, the, the mascot was like a green sloth. It was a green sloth. It was great. So Nathan, I, I think I've settled on what I want the cereal to be. Okay. My one gripe with, uh, with breakfast cereal Mm-hmm. Not enough breakfast in there. It's part of a balanced breakfast, but it is not in and of itself a balanced breakfast. Exactly, which is why in 2017, I'm happy to introduce uh, Oops All Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the convention of just putting Oops in the, the, the title of your food product. There's no cereal. There's no name. It's just Oops All Breakfast. Yeah, right. It's not... 
It's not Captain Crunch presents Oops All Breakfast. Yeah. There's no precedent. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's just some generic cereal <laughs> factory had an accident where I guess they were also mass producing the rest of breakfast. <laughs> yeah. And, and it all got combined. This is the this is the mythos of the of the cereal. What they're doing, Nathan, <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> They're making entire breakfast. Basically, you know when you go on like a long airplane flight and they give you like a little breakfast in kind of like a nice little uh, Tupperware container? Mm-hmm. They're doing that and then they're just throwing all that in, in a cardboard box and shipping it out to America. Right. <laughs> so this is their mascot, uh, I guess, Brecky? What, what, what's, this, what's this little fella's name? Uh, I like Brecky. Brecky the breakfast boy? Brecky the breakfast boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like maybe maybe his name is Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie the Breakfast Boy. Oopsie the Breakfast Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a his he's fully edible except his arms are spoons. His arms are spoons. Um, <laughs> don't eat his arms. Don't <laughs> don't eat my arms. Don't eat my arms. Eat the rest of me. Eat my eyes. They're full of protein. <laughs> don't eat my arms. It's a real problem. We've been sued several times. <laughs> I don't know why it's just my arms. <laughs> They're spoons. I guess I could have just put, I could have had arms that were edible, but, you know, I couldn't really think of anything else for breakfast. Can I offer a alternative to Breakfast Boy? Yes. Can we call him Oopsie the Breakfast Abomination? <laughs> the Breakfast Beast? The Breakfast Beast. The Breakfast Accident. <laughs> <laughs> the Braxident? The Brax. <laughs> what? <laughs> we only. He's only referred to as the Braxident. The Braxident. I think that's like when you go to uh, the Oops All Breakfast Wikipedia or the wiki, you know? Because uh-huh. the, the, the breakfast, the Oops All Breakfast fandom is going to be coming out huge in 2017. Mm-hmm. And I think that like he'll be listed as Oopsie the Breakfast Beast, but like his. His species identification will be the Braxident. The Braxident, okay. Mm-hmm. That's how he's referred to at the factory. And like that's like, I think that'll be kind of the central point of all the commercials. Mm-hmm. Will be, um, it, it'll center around like scientists being like, we tried to create the perfect breakfast, but we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. And then oopsie pops out of like a tube or something like that. And it's like, surprise, it's me. Don't eat my <laughs> arms. And then he makes them eat his arms. <laughs> he says don't eat my arms but then he force feeds them yeah uh oh looks like your stomach's full of spoons <laughs> or yeah I guess he would he pins uh, he pins down one of the scientists and starts feeding force feeding uh, the scientist just from his own body who would have thought the least sharp utensil would hurt so much <laughs> your insides can't tell the difference Breakfast, I'm the most important meal of the day. So call me. Do, <laughs> is this is this what the cereal looks like? Does it look like little oopsies? Um or... no, it's just oh Nathan, it's just a mess. Oh, okay. I, I'm excited to see what the actual cereal looks like. When you open up a, a new box of oops all breakfast, it's just gonna be like <laughs> it's just gonna be everything in there. <laughs> So just like pre-fried egg in yeah, there? Yeah, just the oldest pre-fried egg possible. Uh, and like some cr- some real, I feel like bacon bits are going to be bacon in there. Bacon bits, sure. You can have bacon bits. So is the is this something that you should not eat or something that you just probably should not eat? I think it's firmly in kind of like the, uh, it's firmly in the fast food territory where you're like, oh, I shouldn't eat that. But it's like a special treat. So the egg is preserved in such a way that, you you can eat it. It's not going to be great for you, but it's not going to uh-huh. kill you. No, yeah. There's like, oh, there's so many preservatives in this cereal, Nathan. Okay, and it it is just it kind of like all sloughs out of the of the box because yeah. it's just it's all just caked in butter, and there are extra spoons. The the this is the only cereal that comes with its own spoon. <laughs> okay, so the spoons are in there. Yeah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. You're gonna. I mean. You, you're gonna have more spoons than you need. Yeah, they're they're sort of like uh sort of like bean sprouts and fuck. <laughs> yeah, 
Like you oh, just, absolutely. Yeah, it's just like they're just sort of hard, crunchy, flavorless bits. What else? What else can you have for breakfast? I guess like maybe throw like an orange in there or something. I'll yeah, some a, fruit. Get some fruit in there. I'll put a, I'll put an orange on the side. Oh, and it it does. The box is very wet because it does have orange juice in it. Yeah, it's full of orange juice and milk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and glasses therein. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's there is some broken glass in. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a full glass of orange juice in there. Okay. Full glass of OJ. This is like some grapefruit on the side here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is kind of like a fun thing, is you never know what you're going to get, and sometimes you'll just get some wet OJ, but sometimes you'll get a full glass. And, like, that's in the commercial. You'll see the kids being like, oh, wow, a full glass! And they just <laughs> crunch right into it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Breakfast Without Rules! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dawn of a new age of breakfast. So this is a real this is a real meaty breakfast. Yeah, this is like, get some links in there. Yeah, okay. If you have any dietary restrictions, you should not stay away. You should stay away because mm-hmm. it's got gluten, it's got meat, it's got dairy, it's got it all. It's got citrus. <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on, I, I got to draw the slogan, then I'm gonna let you take over. Okay. Do you know what you wanna want? What you wanna add to this? It's yeah, I gotta do the back, right? Oh shit! Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's what um, that's what Doctor Wolfel suggested. Yeah, he wanted a front and back cereal box. Mm-hmm. Let me just get, let me get Oopsie saying his his classic catchphrase: "Don't eat the spoons." Don't eat the spoons. Don't eat the spoons. <laughs> <laughs> and then, in in, in some, there's an asterisk that says, "You can eat the spoons." <laughs> <laughs> There's just as much nutritional value in the spoons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, you got to get your 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 zinc. You got to get your zinc, all your precious metals. It's so fun to remember that your blood is just got a bunch of metal in it. That there's yeah. iron in your body, and I learned that from the movie X-Men. That's what makes it red. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Wait, is it? I don't know. <laughs> That's what Magneto says in the yeah. movie. <laughs> Gosh, don't don't watch us to get science facts. Don't watch us to get smart. Read the comments. The commenters are great at pointing out when we say something dumb. Uh huh. Which is a lot. Speaking of the commenters, I I want to just put out a call before we get too far into the episode. Uh, please give us suggestions for what you want us to to draw. Ooh, we're putting out the call in the middle of the app. I love it. Yeah, like we. There, I feel like there's been a scarcity of late. Uh, people have been tweeting suggestions at us, which is great at at Drawfee Show on Twitter. Mm-hmm. But um, we, the, our primary source for finding suggestions for what we draw on each episode, is of course uh, from the comments. So right, uh, yeah, drop a Le- drop us a line. Leave them in there. Nathan, Leave them in there. Maybe we'll get to yours. Nathan, you got to yeah. draw the back of the box. What are you What are you thinking? Okay, well, I my favorite thing from back of the box is like a fun little um, little activity. Ooh, yeah, like, fun, like a maze, like a maze or um, a puzzle, a puzzle or something. Spot. So like, I like you get sort of like a, a simplified version of the mascot. Yeah, this is kind of it. This is like the the style guide for Oopsie. Is that when you draw him from a distance, uh, his eyes he, he loses kind of the uh, the wiggliness of the of the, yeah. the egg yolks. Yeah. Oh, he's much cuter. I like this version of of Oopsie much better. He looks much less like an abomination. And um, you know what? We're just gonna like it's just set for some reason like in the jungle. So he's got his like safari <laughs> hat on. Yeah, he's going on a breakfast safari. It's like, can you help Oopsie find all the ingredients to shove inside this cardboard box? Yeah. <laughs> can you pick up all these breakfast ingredients off the ground in the rainforest? Oh, no. Oops. I think that that would be a key tenant of Oopsie. Yeah. Is that Oopsie is very clumsy. Obviously, Oopsie dropped all of the breakfast ingredients. And now you got to pick them up and shove them in a box so that hungry boys and girls worldwide can enjoy a healthy breakfast. Well, a breakfast. A breakfast. Just <laughs> a breakfast. Help me help me collect all the ingredients so you can enjoy one A breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> a breakfast is in quotes somehow. Yeah, and so he's got his like little – it's not really like a maze. It's just sort of like a path that you follow with your eyes. But like there's no – there's only – 
one way you can go. It's some Candyland baby bullshit, but like, what do you expect? Yeah, it's got some like different tiles with like, if you look closely, they have like fun breakfast facts written on them. Mm -hmm. (laughs) If you, if you were to say zoom in, which is, which you will not be doing. Yeah. This is, you, you, you're going to have to, much like, you know, the nutrition facts uh, for Oops All Breakfast, you're going to have to use your imagination. (laughs) Oh, this is like an eggplant. Oh, I love it. Nathan, how dare you? This is actually clever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I feel like every time we do a new episode of the show, I just three or four new goals for my life spring into mine. Mm-hmm. And now I want this to be your real breakfast cereal. <laughs> and, you know, he's got his little, like, never before mentioned. Oh, sidekick? Sidekick. So he's got, like, eggy. <laughs> Not not Sheldon or like Yolksy, but Eggy. Eggy. Egg- yeah, oop, oopsie <laughs> and Eggy. Oh, Eggy's real cute. And uh and and here's Link. Oh, okay. all right. I like it. Link's an adventurous sausage type, I imagine. Mm-hmm. How many sidekicks does Egg does Oopsie have? I'll give him one more. Is is their ultimate goal perhaps to be joined together with Oopsie? Do yeah. they want to like is that their goal? Is like if they maybe it's like a uh vampire situation where if they serve their master well enough, they will get to become uh abominations, breakfast abominations like him. Yeah. Okay. And that's juicy? That's Julius. Ju- oh shit, Julius. <laughs> you never know what Julius is gonna do. Yeah. So they gotta they gotta <laughs> get they gotta figure out how to get through this very easy to get through path. Uh huh. And then down here, um, there's a recipe. <laughs> so wait, that's the, the that's the goal. Is they're trying to find the recipe? They're trying to find the recipe at the bottom. Cause, cause here's the thing: the oops all breakfast is already a complete meal. So the only recipe you can have is to make it into brunch. Oh shit! You have to combine it with uh with lunch food. Oh, I like that. Or maybe you just add vodka. Just add vodka. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it just it just says <laughs> it's just a box that says add vodka. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey kids, help me find the vodka so we can turn this into so we can into, get turned up on brunch. Into boozy brunch. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Let's get this party started, kids. Oops, all brunch. And you serve it over a field uh, uh, over a bed of like field greens instead of yeah. Apple. Mm-hmm. It's best served wet. Oh, yeah. We forgot the hash browns. Oh, damn. Can you throw some browns in there? Yeah. Here, here's a... Um... I like to think that in the Oops All Breakfast bowl, there's just one hash brown at the bottom kind of soaking it all in, and you eat that last. And that's, yeah, that's what Hashy says. He says, eat me last. Don't eat the spoons. Eat me last. And that's kind of like, there's definitely a jingle where they all sing their song, and then Julius goes, man, this ain't even breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Is there going to be like a, a little, some text up top to tell the kids what to do, or did the designer not even get that far? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Nathan, while you're, while you're at it in this text, mm-hmm. can I tell you about uh, my, my breakfast revelation? Oh, please do. I went to Japan over the break, uh-huh. and Japan is embarrassing us on every possible level. Uh-huh. Because I don't know if if you're familiar with Japanese pancakes. If not, please Google them. Because in America, pancakes are just these wet little discs. Yeah, they're little they're little batter discs. Yeah, they're little butter discs. But in Japan, they're these magnificent, half inch to one inch thick, beautiful, fluffy. Just frisbees of delight. Well, that's and not you a can... pancake called. Well, that's a a fluffy friend. That's a, it's a flapjack, and it's living up to its truest name. Mm-hmm. It's a flappy jack, and I can't. And and Nathan, I can't go back. I can't go back from that jack because they're so big and they're so fluffy. Even the toast over there is bigger. It's a very small, concise nation, but for some reason, their breakfast is off the charts, out of control, bonkers, and I just. I think America has really let let everyone down in this regard, and I expect better from America in 2017, which is what – and I think Oops All Breakfast is going to go a long way. So this is a recipe for boozy brunch. <laughs> I'm just checking back in. Figure it out, I guess. Yeah, it says figure it out. 
figure it out. <laughs> this is perfect. This is definitely the level of quality uh, and just thought that goes into every every box of Oops All Breakfast. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see this on shelves. Watch out, Frosted Flakes. We're gonna. You're gonna about. You're about to get poached. It's a breakfast pun. It was good. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much for sticking with us through 2016 and into the glorious beyond of 2017. It's been a real pleasure uh, serving with you, and I'm excited for what 2017 will hold. Please, I guess, um, subscribe if you don't already. Uh, leave a comment for what you'd like to see us draw next time on the show. Double call out. <laughs> yeah, got it in there twice. Yeah. Listen to our podcast, uh, What Should We Draw? If you haven't already, it's on iTunes. It's, it's, um, we bring on a guest and we come up with an idea for a drawing every, every episode. What the heck? I'll do it. Listen to my other podcast, 8-Bit Book Club. It's uh, a show I do with my friends Murph and Emily where uh, each week we read a different video game-based book, usually a novelization of a video game or even just a recap of the first four episodes of the Pokemon anime, which is what we read uh, last week, and then we talk about it. It's the only book club that makes you dumber is our slogan. Uh, It's also (laughs) on iTunes and HeadGum. Uh, Please check it out. I think that's gonna about going to do it for us. Nathan, you got anything else to add to this picture, or are you just going to draw some little grassy I'm, flakes I'm just there? drawing some grassy parts, because uh, why not? You know that sautéed spinach. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Need it in breakfast. The breakfast leaf spinach. Well, Caldwell, i got to go eat some breakfast now. i got to eat breakfast. I'm, I'm replacing all meals with breakfast. It's the only way to live. Eating breakfast in 2017. I, I guess I hope, um, I hope everybody gets enough breakfast in 2017, because... Uh, yeah. That 2016, we we saw what happened. We saw what happened when people skipped breakfast and, Mm -hmm. um, you know. 2017, eat breakfast. (laughs) That's the official slogan. 2017, eat breakfast. We're sorry? We're sorry. Don't eat the spoons. (laughs) 